Entertainment Show in Manchester and we're pleased to be in the Kef room with uh, Ron Locke. You guys have always been pretty much in there with the speakers that you design. We had the uh, Reference Blade series uh, which we filmed a, a little while ago. Absolutely fantastic concept speaker but of course off the back of that it allows you to get newer technologies and newer drivers and you've just introduced a new T-series with the 105, 205 and 35 and these are quite unique in the sense that they use specialist drivers in the sense that they're normal drivers. So maybe you can give us a little bit of an overview. Absolutely right, Terry, and uh, good morning. Yes, absolutely. Uh, although these speakers do look like they're using flat panel technology, uh, they're definitely not. They're using actual drive units, base drive units. As you'll see with this drive unit here, this is only 27 millimetres in thickness. It's almost an inch, just over an inch thick. It uses all the conventional parts that you'd, you'd expect to use with a normal yep. base driver as a dedicated motor system with a magnet system here. This is okay. a neodymium magnet system, very high powered uses a flat diaphragm, which is very, very rigid. We've got aluminium ring at the back there to give it more rigidity. The suspension is actually set outside of the motor system. And as you'll see with the, uh, this rather wacky looking surround, this is what we call our Z-Flex technology, which allows the drive unit to move in a little move further well. excursion. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Again, it's about moving air. It, it still air works as a, as a piston. Yep. So as li as actually moving back and forward, generating air within the box. And albeit this, the, the box is relatively thin, as you'll see, it's overall depth is 35 millimetres, we're still achieving very good base levels and from the speaker. Outputs. Down to about 100, 110 hertz, which yep. is remarkable for such a small loudspeaker. And it came obviously to... Compliment, uh, sorry, to... Yeah, uh, no, go for it. Yeah, to obviously, because we, wanted to, we couldn't use UniQ in this, because we couldn't, uh, couldn't get the depth, because obviously with the UniQ you need the horn, you need That's to right. horn load the tweeter to get the dispersion characteristics. So we haven't scrimped or scraped, we've, we've used a very high-powered one-inch aluminium dome tweeter, which is actually side-vented using tangerine waveguide technology, which is a direct derivative of that blade. that we used in the blade technology, yep. yes, absolutely. So a very high-powered um, tweeter, which goes very low down in the frequency, so it crosses over with the base driver at, at much lower frequencies, so it gives you a lot more openness, a lot more clean uh, uh, performance. Okay, and available in a 5.1 system with additional options for up to 7.1 or even 9.1, whatever the Yeah, the absolutely. There's, th there's three um, versions of this system. Um, obviously, we've got two size satellites. We've got the smallest satellite here, which use a single base driver and a single one-inch HF yep. unit. And we've got the larger satellite, which uses two of the four and a quarter-inch base units with a the one-inch tweeter. These actually play about six dB louder than the smaller one. At the moment, we're introducing 5.1 packages based around these two size satellites. We have the smaller package here, which is the T105, yep. which retails in the UK for £1,200. Mm -hmm. We go from the 105 to the 205, which uses three of the larger satellites for the front channels, two of the smaller satellites for the rear channels, again, with a powered subwoofer, that comes in at 1500, and then the larger system, the T305, is all based around the larger satellite speakers, so three across the front, two for rear, okay. again with a powered subwoofer. And for those that want to upgrade to 6.1, 7.1, or even more, Any options? the satellites are available separately, That's good. our stereo pairs. And of course, one key part, being the same drivers, the overall sound stage at the front, also remains constant, same coloration, so of course you Absolutely. get a, a good Tomba matching is, is a critical part of any AV system, and certainly the front three channels are the most important parts. And if, even that said, the centre speaker is still one of the most important channels, but 60% of the information comes from the centre yep. speaker, so the bigger the centre speaker, the more capable, the better. Now, these have been designed specifically for wall balance, mm. okay? Now, we've, obviously because we're quite uh, innovative at KEF, um, for those that can't wall mount these speakers, there are a stand option yeah. available uh, for them. Um, within those stand columns, there are componentry that will adjust the balance of the speaker to suit it. Suit the placement. And yes, absolutely. So you can actually mix and match. You can actually use the speakers on floor stands and wall mounted and still maintain the same balance. It's what we call selector mount technology. Yeah. Fantastic. Ron, absolutely superb. Thank Before you, Terry. Thanks for your time. All the best. Thank you.